the sands of time. The Lord took me to a place and I saw the great prophets of the Bible. I saw Elijah, Elisha. I saw all the prophets of the Old Testament. I saw the Apostle John, the martyrs, and they had all been told of the Lord to stick their hands into the sands of time. As I watched them, they would pick up a shoebox. One of them was the Apostle Paul. And he brought this shoebox up and he said, It's, it's my, my time. time. The Apostle Paul believed what's going to happen now was going to happen in his time. And he opened the shoebox and it was empty. And so another prophet come behind him. And the Lord says, Stick your hands in the sand of time. Every, Every prophet if all believed it was going to take place in their time. And it did to amaze you because all the wisdom that's down here now come through these men. And each one of them added something to the sands of time. It came my time and he said, put your hands in the sands of time and pull up the shoebox. And I said, my Lord, everybody else has done it. And there were empty shoeboxes. And he said, do as I've told you. So I put my hands in the sands of time and I put the shoebox up. And I opened it. And I was very shocked. For it had letters in it. And it said, greetings. You have been inducted into the army of God. But these white envelopes, these induction notices, they didn't have a stamp on it. And at this time, uh, in the United States, if I remember right, it cost 11 cents, I believe, to mail a letter. And the Lord says, I will mail these letters when it costs 20 cents to mail a letter. Well, nobody believed this. Because in the States at that time, nobody believed that stamps would ever go up again. For it had gone up from 3 cents to 11. But then on October the 13th of 81, it cost 20 cents to mail a letter. And the Lord said, everyone that was conceived that was in the womb or nine months before was literally the army of the Lord. The first would be leaders and the second would be the greatest army that nothing could stop. And when they reach the age of maturity, I'm going to begin to release them in power. They're an army that is my army, and they cannot be stopped. I will arm them out of my armory in heaven. There's no gift that I will deny them. They will literally pull down the warehouse of God, and they'll have no fear of the enemy whatsoever. These are the ones that will glorify me beyond anything that's ever been. For they are mine. They will represent me in my holiness, in my compassion. And this is what's getting ready to happen. An army of youth that isn't afraid to die for Christ. When you're not afraid to die, Satan has no control over you at all. You become a holy terror to him. It's a lot easier to die for Christ than it is to live for Him. They'll do even a greater thing. They'll live for Him. They're an army. They're an that army. Is my army. That is my army. And they cannot be stopped. I will arm them out of my armory in heaven. There's no gift that I will deny them. They will literally they will pull down the warehouse of God. And they'll have no fear have no of the enemy whatsoever. Enemy whatsoever. For they are mine. They will represent me in my holiness, in my compassion.
And this is what's getting ready to happen. This is what's getting ready to happen. An army of you, army of you that isn't afraid to die for Christ. When you're not afraid to die, Satan has no control over you at all. You become a holy terror to him. Holy terror, terror, terror to him. Dangerous people. Going up